So on this example. So the first thing I say, oh, well, I don't know what to do here, so I'm going to set equal to 0. Okay, And then you say, all right, I'm still kind of confused because I get factoring something squared, like, right? We did that algebra 1, we did that algebra 2. I just did probably 180 questions from Mr. McLogan, so I'm like, I can do that, right? And if I don't, then I'll do more practice and I'll get good at it. But x to the fourth, I don't have much practice on. So I, what I say is, do what you're good at. Why don't we rewrite this equation as a quadratic? Same numbers, but just as a quadratic. And let's say, let's just try to factor it the way that we know how. And we say, oh, OK, well, this is do two numbers, multiply to give you 4, multiply to give you negative 5. And I'm going to write the factors above. So that would be x minus 4 times x minus 1. Do you guys agree, right? I already have the answer up there? Okay. So remember, the key important thing, guys, is the first two terms of your factors multiply to give you x squared. x times x gives you x squared. The last two terms give you the last term. Negative 4 times negative 1 equals 4. So our problem is we're not factoring a quadratic. We're factoring something where x to the fourth minus 5x squared plus 4. My last two terms still need to multiply to give me a positive 4. So does negative 4 times negative 1 still give you that? Yes. But now I need my first two terms not to multiply to give me x squared, but now they need to multiply to give me x to the fourth. So what I need to do is just raise the powers. Now, when I multiply x squared times x squared, I get x to the fourth. When I do my middle terms, they're going to combine to a negative 5x squared. Now, um, now here's one of the big mistakes students say and say, oh, well, let me go ahead and you know, find my zeros. The zeros are you know, 4 and 1 with a multiplicity of um, 1. I say, well, we've got to be careful. You could use the zero product property from here. But I think what would be best is we can further factor these down. right? We can, factor that we can continue to factor x squared minus 4, correct? And that can be factored into difference of two squares. And this can be factored x minus 1 times x plus 1. Now, is it really easy for me to identify my zeros? Yeah. Put the multiplicity equal to 1. Yes? Does that make sense? Anybody have questions? No? So for the next 